All right, we want to take you back to early on in Donald Trump's presidency when he pretty much ripped some American companies for manufacturing their products overseas. Going to war with iconic brands like Harley Davidson, saying it was, quote, great that consumers might boycott the company if it were to move its production outside the U.S. Well, one Israeli company is doing the opposite, happy to set up shop in America. They just opened a plant in Columbia, South Carolina. Meet Watergen, one of the most magical innovations of the 21st century, it literally creates water out of thin air. Their patented technology here on set with us. Watergen USA President Yehuda Kaplan joins us in a Fox Business exclusive. Okay, Yehuda, before I take a sip of the water from this creation by Watergen, I have to ask you, what was behind the decision for an Israeli company to open up shop in South Carolina? You know, as a company, we have a policy. We like working with allies, and we, we know that Americans like having products that are made in America. And as the president said, and he's been a true friend of Israel, we have been had the ability to create jobs using patented technology. And as a result, we want to employ people where we're hiring people. How many people are you hiring? We expect to have at full production about 400 employees, and that's only for a couple of plants. We plan on opening three or four plants in the United States over the next two years. Whoa, that's breaking news, three or four plants. Okay, tell us how this works. Basically, we have a, when you have government officials who have toxins in the ground, in the air, um, but you, you can't remove, you can't clean air. You don't have tests to test for every product or every chemical that's in the ground or whatever's coming through your pipe. What this technology does is it allows you to filter air. It is much easier to clean air than to clean water. We take the air, the humidity that's in the air, we filter the air, we then bring the air to chill it to a dew point, create water, and then run it through a filtering process, again, a patented process, which allows you to get clean, pure drinking water. Okay, so if it were to be this machine in a heavily polluted city like, I'm thinking, Beijing, it could take that horrific quality air, sift it out all the bad uh, elements that's within it, and then create drinking water that's create, safe? It would create clean, pure drinking water, and all it would require, if it's a dirtier air and quality, is to change the filter perhaps more frequently. How much does this cost? This unit is going to be priced approximately between 1300 and 1500 uh, as we finish our, we're going to roll out this unit for sale in the American public in March or April. I'm thinking about water problems in Africa where it's too dry or water problems in Flint, Michigan where there was lead in the water. Could you solve problems like lead in the water? Yes, we absolutely. In fact, we do it much more cost effective than most other companies or most products. If you're trucking water every day, then you're going to bring that water day in, day out. If every home in Flint would get one of our units, mm -hmm. it would probably have saved the government $100 million. And save children's health. It would save the health of the children, and each home could have been equipped with this because it's okay to use bad water or unclean water for your bathtubs, showering, flushing toilets. But what you put in your water and what you cook with is essential to your health. Okay. You've been making this water here at the Fox Business Studios. Let's try it. I'm ready to try the water that was squeezed, folks, out of the air here in the studio. Now, what happens if there's no humidity in the air where these are operating? So you need to have a basic humidity of about mm -hmm. 30, over 30%. 30 mm -hmm. However, you're not going to be comfortable living in an area that has humidity below that. Got it. So for about 75% of the country and the world, we work efficiently. I'm ready to, to sip this water that was literally squeezed out of the air. Perfect. And it's cool. I like that. This is a fascinating, fascinating development. And by the way, I do want to mention you had a truck circulating Panama City, the most recent hurricane. They had no clean water. So we were involved in all the hurricane rescues and all the after the floods in Texas. We were in Port Arthur, Texas. We were in Miami, Florida, and we generated thousands of gallons of water. And the beauty of having a truck is it's mobile. So we can go to areas that have a problem with water, and as a result, we produce the water. You don't have to truck water in every day. You don't have to resupply. As long as we have power, we're able to create water. I find it fascinating. Yehuda Kaplun, the company is Watergen USA, ready to open three to four plants more here in the United States. Thank you. It's been a pleasure, Liz. Thank you very much. And by the way, uh, last night at the CES award ceremony here in Manhattan, Watergen USA was awarded most innovative technology for CES 2019.